Perry Edwards and Alex Oxlade Chamberlain are heating up and fans are living for it. I'm living for it too, and Kylie Jenner is reportedly loving shopping for her unconfirmed bun in the oven. And finally, harmonizers everywhere are rejoicing after Camila and Lauren were spotted chatting at the Jingle Ball. Is the Fifth Harmony and Camila Cabello feud over? We're talking about all this and more on Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. Welcome to Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. I'm Devin Howard. And I'm Madison Hill. And to kick things off, we are going to be talking about Little Mix's Perry Edwards and her new boyfriend, or not new, they've been together for about a year. Yeah, they've been together for a while. I love these two and I love Little Mix. I know, <laughs> I love them too. Okay, so Perry just posted an Instagram with her boyfriend Alex and it is the cutest thing ever. Uh, the caption is that quote from Finding Nemo where she says, I shall call him Squishy and he shall be mine and he shall be my Squishy. Uh -huh. Which oh, I, I think love it's that. So cute. You guys know, Devin, I know we're still getting to know each other, but I'm a Disney fanatic. Like, I literally go to Disney by myself. So the <laughs> fact that Little Mix and Disney all together with Perry Edwards and Alex, like, I'm just, like, explode. It's an explosion a, with cuteness. It's a dream it. combo. It is a dream combo. <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. Yeah, so they, they're definitely couple goals. I really, really like them mm -hmm. together. They seem really happy. And it's actually interesting because they're currently overcoming long distance. Um, Alex just recently had to go to Liverpool for football. Mm -hmm. And then Perry is obviously doing so much stuff with Little Mix. They just finished a tour. They announced a new tour for next year. I mean, there's things are crazy. They're coming out with like a documentary of what happens backstage. Literally, Little Mix is so busy. And it... I guess this Instagram came at the perfect time because I feel like, you know, it's the end of the year, people are evaluating things, like is long distance really for me? You know, I feel like yeah. the demise of so many celebrity couples is long distance and busy schedules. So the fact that these two are making it work, that they put it out there for us to know, thank goodness, because so many celebrities don't do that, um, just makes it that much sweeter. Yeah, it's so cute. So you like them as a couple? Oh, I love them as a couple. And then throw Disney in the mix with the Instagram <laughs> caption and I'm the happiest ever. <laughs> the Disney just made it for they you. I love it. that. <laughs> so I guess they proved that distance really does make the heart grow mm -hmm. fonder. And speaking of hearts growing fonder, our love for and frustration with Kylie Jenner and her still unconfirmed pregnancy oh, keeps yeah. growing and growing and growing. And then also up next, we're going to be talking about another girl group, the Fifth Harmony Girls and Camila Cabello, but that's coming up next. So let's yeah, talk about Kylie Jenner. You guys got to hold on Jenner. for that. Yes. We, obviously, we got to talk about Kylie Jenner first because yes. this sure. girl. There is so much going on, and we keep getting all of these subtle little hints, whether it's a pink manicure or pink flowers, and now a pink 20-foot Christmas tree. <laughs> and it just kind of seems like she's trying to say, I'm having a girl, I'm having a girl, I'm having a girl, but there's still no confirmation. It's the carrot. It's the carrot. And we are just being dangled yep. like little animals. We, we really can't are. Help it. It's driving me absolutely insane. I've said this time and time again, the number one thing on my Christmas list is a Kylie Jenner pregnancy confirmation. I know that says that my life is sad, <laughs> but I'm just over, like, her not saying anything. I'm over it. I know. I'm so over it. I re well, how do you think that she's going to reveal I it? Am, uh, I am, I 110% still think that it's going to be on the Christmas card, and it's going to throw everyone who works in entertainment news into a tizzy <laughs> on December 25th, once the 25 days of Christmas are over. <laughs> uh, well, I can't wait. I, I feel like it might be in an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, but okay. I guess we'll see. Uh, but apparently, Kylie's been really enjoying shopping for baby gear. So she bought a stroller, and she's really drawn, obviously, to the color pink. Oh, Shocker. <laughs> wow. Okay. So I think it's safe to say that she's having a girl if she's having a baby at mm -hmm. all. Um, and then also there was another hint in a clip from Keeping Up With Our Kardashians. Kim says, isn't it crazy that mom's going to have like 30 grandkids? Which to me that seems like a no, definite that's confirmation. Definitely, that's definitely a confirmation. But I just, I don't know. There's multiple babies on the way. Like right. you wouldn't go from six grandkids to 30 <laughs> that quickly. So Even if it is Kim being slightly dramatic. I think there's still, I mean, the addition of three grandchildren, Kim from her surrogate, Kylie and Chloe, is still a lot. A and lot. I just feel like this family, Chris, congratulations, you have trained them well. You have taught them exactly how to lead everyone along. <laughs> and girl, we are just waiting for it. Oh, I hate that they have us under their thumb, but they totally do. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're smart businesswomen, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. for sure. 
So um, now let's move on to the next topic, okay. Fifth Harmony. I am so excited about this because Camila and Lauren were talking to each other backstage at the Jingle Ball. And That's kind of a big deal. Right, like, because they had a very, very public, um, like, tense thing go down, <laughs> so. That's a nice way of putting it. And I think it's especially interesting because for the past, you know, I don't know how long it's been since they've split, we've always heard that Camila avoids Fifth Harmony at all costs on any carpet. Yeah. So I think this is interesting that this is kind of the first time we're hearing that Camila didn't avoid Fifth Harmony. Fifth Harmony didn't avoid Camila. Um, even if it was just Lauren, to me, I think this is a big step in mending whatever happened behind the scenes. Yeah, definitely. And I think it's especially interesting because Lauren is now pursuing her own solo mm -hmm. career. So I feel like maybe she's come to a place where she can understand what Camila was going right. through last year and can kind of now relate and put all the drama aside mm -hmm. and maybe actually mend that friendship. And I know that Camila recently spoke really positively about her time with Fifth Harmony and she really doesn't seem to hold any negative feelings about it. No. So I've never actually really felt that way from Camila. I feel like she's always taken the high road when she's constantly asked about Fifth Harmony. And if she ever did get a little snippy, I think that's just out of frustration being like, okay, I left, get over it, you know? And I think it's, again, I don't know if it's like the end of the year that people just feel like, we need to have these conversations. I like, know. Mend <laughs> any fences. Like, I just think it's like, the, this time, everyone kind of realizes like, was that really a big deal? Should we have maybe argued or should I have felt ill towards somebody? No. So I'm happy to hear that Lauren and Camila were hashing it out. And I 110% believe you when you say that they were most likely talking about maybe solo careers. I think that's definitely what was happening. Yeah, but I'm curious about what Not you guys all way. think. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know what you guys think. What do you think that uh, Camila and Lauren were talking about? Do you think that they could ever become friends again? Um, do you think that all of these little pink hints from Kylie Jenner are uh, confirmations of her pregnancy? And also, how much do you ship? Perry Edwards and Alex Oxley Chamberlain. You guys know I ship them a lot, but what do you guys think? <laughs> we really want to know. So comment down in the comment section below. Let's let's chat about it. And we will see you tomorrow on Holly Scoops Daily Rewind. Bye guys.